to me, Seattle's a little bit different because, you know, you got a lot more, you know what I'm saying, like mixed, you know, mixed marriages, mixed everything over here in Pacific Northwest. But at the end of the day, I am raising two black boys. And at the end of the day, one being 14 and one being eight, like I said, they're coming into a different light now and they're starting to see things in a different perspective than them being children. Now, I feel, you know, I feel for KJ and B. Miles, you know, they got the older girl, so I'm going to go ahead and be that long. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ready for all that yet, man. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and pray for y'all. Y'all do y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? So smart, you know, you know, let me know how it goes. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and stick to the little, the, the little bitty. I'm going to stick to him. But, yeah. uh, seriously, so like, you know, the, the Black Lives Matter movement, the social awareness that it raised for me as a dad, you know what I'm saying, was to a whole nother level compared to what it's ever been, you know, in the past. I think it raised my, you know, my thought process and, and the things I talk to him about on a daily basis. And that's me even being here. I can't even imagine what it would be like if I was in the South in the States or certain other areas. But even in Canada, like I said, still racism and things like that exist. I'm not going to say it's not as, you know, prevalent, but at the same extent, sometimes things are worse when they're hidden. So at the end of the day, like I said, you know, how it impacted me is a certain way, but also living in a certain demographic is a lot different. Move the chain. <laughs>